this patient was referred to me nine years ago. So in 2014 for endodontic treatment of tooth number 13. Temporary crown that you can't see on the x-ray. <laughs> the material is the kind of material is invisible on x-ray. Temporary crown and um, she had all the signs and symptoms of irreversible pulpitis with acute apical periodontitis. So as I said, that was in 2014 when she came to see us and we recommended root canal. And as you can see, here's the date, 2014, so nine years ago. This was immediately after we did the root canal for her in 2014, so nine years ago. And here's the date, as you can see, 2014, when we did the root canal for her. And look, did I obturate short? Okay, now, does it matter? Obturating short, does it, does it matter? Will that affect the outcome of endodontics if you obturate short? Not according to multiple studies, the most famous one being Dr. Lin's, Dr. Lin's study, L-I-N, Dr. Lin. The extent of obturation has no effect on the outcome of the endodontic therapy. So here, my obturation is short. This was just now. Nine years post-op of tooth number 13. And here is the date. It was just now. The patient came in. So we can look at tooth number 14. I'll talk to you about tooth number 14 in the next video. Nine years post-op of tooth number 13, tooth is in full function, patient has no symptoms, and as you can see, no periapical relucencies or issues. Nine years post-op of tooth number 13, again, here is the date, as you can see, nine years post-op of tooth number 13, the extent of obturation has no effect on the success rate of endodontic therapy, and here it is, nine years post-op of tooth number 13.